Hi everyone, this is Harshni here. Welcome to Aspen of Solutions. And today I'm here to talk about an interesting topic in ServiceNow called Performance Analytics Indicators. So as you all know, Performance Analytics is a powerful tool which uh, can be used to analyze, uh, track and visualize uh, the key performance in, uh, analytics indicators over a period of time. So this concept of uh, indicators is basically uh, defining a measurement of um, a business service or an activity uh, that's defined over a period of time uh, or a range of time instead of uh, a point in time. So these indicators are usually uh, associated with a source which is basically a table or a set of records with conditions and um, these can, indicators usually produce uh, something called scores and uh, these scores are, can be used in scorecards or any uh, charts and they can also be uh, presented in dashboards via widgets. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to create um, a, a PA indicator in ServiceNow and uh, different concepts involved in this. So firstly to start with an indicator, the first thing to build is an indicator source. So this indicator source is simply a list of rows uh, or uh, of a table where that is defined with uh, conditions. Um, so basically for example uh, open incidents. So it's a list of all the open incidents and uh, or the closed problems or uh, new incidents. So this is basically a simple uh, indicator source from which an indicator is built. So once you have first uh, an indicator source defined, then you need to collect the data for those in, uh, indicator sources. So which is uh, for this unit a data collection job. So this data collection job is usually uh, that uh, queries the records with the conditions uh, that are specified and uh, with the frequency uh, that has been defined like uh, daily, weekly or monthly. And um, when you have uh, something called uh, breakdowns, so uh, that is which uh, kind of a list of conditions. Uh, and it collects a, it collects the records based on those uh, conditions by querying the uh, table and uh, collects the uh, data for us. So this is what a data collection job does. So once you have an indicator source defined and you have a data collection job to collect the data for those indicators, you can uh, set up the uh, indicators actually. So there are three types of indicators available in service now an automated indicator, a formula indicator, and a manual indicator. So first let's talk about uh, automated indicator. So automated indicator is um, usually an indicator that is associated with a source and uh, this source um, automatically collects the data with a scheduled uh, data collection job and automatically uh, defines and uh, you know, updates these scores for us. So for example, um, so this is an indicator um, automated view which is number of incidents closed by self-service. So for this, as I said, uh, you need to first specify an indicator source. And as you can see the indicator source, um, the incidents dot close, which is basically um, the number of incidents closed. Uh, and uh, as you can see, the frequency defined is daily. So the number of incidents closed on that day. So the condition is closed on today. And uh, so when you have to set up uh, the indicator source, and uh, when you have another set uh, of filter conditions that you need to define, you need to define it in additional conditions. So here, as you can see, we need uh, to get the number of incidents closed by self-service. So for this, uh, you need to set the condition as a resolution code is closed or resolved by solve, uh, caller. So which means the self-service um, has been uh, closing the incident. So you can uh, define these additional conditions here. And uh, once you have the source and the additional conditions, and uh, you also can define the unit here and hash is usually used for the count of the records and you also have uh, other uh, units available like days, percentage and hours and etc. And uh, once you have this, um, you need to uh, define the uh, link the jobs, so which is the data collection job. And uh, these are predefined um, collection jobs that are available in the instance, which is daily data collection and historic data collection. So this historic data collection is actually run once when you uh, newly create an indicator. Um, it basically collects the past data and to collect the data uh, every day, you need to have this daily data collection job to be run. And uh, there's another concept called breakdowns which is usually a list of items that's defined like you need to have you can get the priorities all the priorities of the incidents and all the categories list of categories and list of assignment groups involved so that uh, the user can filter out the conditions uh, as he wants like if you want to get a specific task uh, performed by HR group or finance group um, so you can actually filter it out as you need so these breakdowns are also pretty useful and uh, you need to um, link these breakdowns with the indicator for them to have it on scores. So uh, once you have this, you can basically have um, 
let's see this in a show scorecard so which uh, basically displays it in a chart or uh, you can also view the scores if you want and yeah so this is an example of an automated indicator and uh, the other indicator is uh, the formula indicator so formula indicator um, is usually uh, using um, one or more automated indicators and uh, when you need to perform an analytical function and uh, you need to produce a computed score like um, so as you can see here it, um, it's mostly not um, linked with an indicator source because you usually get it from the automated indicators so for example here I need to get the percentage of new critical incidents so as you can see uh, this is not a direct uh, a source uh, that you can get so you need to actually compute uh, to get the percentage so as you, um, so, so the two indicators that are involved so first is number of new incidents with priority uh, critical is equal to one and um, by I am dividing that by the number of new incidents that are open and uh, into 100 to get the percentage so to use uh, define this you need to browse uh, for an indicator and uh, if the indicator is that's available you can uh, basically select it else you need to create the indicator and uh, link the data collection job with that and then use it in the formula indicator so yeah so this is how you can create a formula indicator and uh, you can also define the percentage uh, the unit and uh, all the other things that you need and uh, so as you can see this doesn't have a job related uh, link to it because uh, the automated indicator used has a job related and that collects the data for that and you can also define the breakdowns as you want and um, you can also let's see them in the scorecard uh, same as the automated indicators um, so in my instance doesn't have much uh, data so it doesn't really show much um, information on the chart and uh, as you can see in the scores here so yeah so this is uh, an example of um, a, a formula indicator so that um, other indicator is the manual indicator so manual indicator um, is usually used when you do not have the data on service now instance and you need to get it from some external source so manual indicators usually doesn't have an indicator source or it cannot automatically collect the data and uh, update it because um, you need to either uh, import the data or you need to manually enter the scores for it to work so yeah so this is how you can create an, a performance analytics indicator in now uh, service now and uh, select the type of indicator that you want and can use it so uh, define the indicator source uh, collection job and uh, define the indicators and use it in uh, scorecards and uh, also in dashboards via widgets so i think um, that comes to the end of this video and um, i think you guys liked it uh, thank you for watching and you just unlock the power of service now Thank you.